you remove the cam, take out the back, pull the cam out. Now the timer, pull the little flag out, lift it up. We'll lay this aside. And we'll take a screwdriver and start to remove the screws. Remove them one at a time, carefully. Don't take them all the way out. You get all the screws loose. Leave them sticking up. We want to keep them in the same holes. I'll explain why in a minute. Then we just lift this up carefully so that the screws stay in it. Sometimes the flappers will stick in here. You just pull them out if that happens. I'm going to lay this down. Now you just simply pull these out and replace them with new ones. I'll just put these back because these are new. But they just drop right down in the holes. Be sure they go down flush. Now if they're old and they've got stuff off of them, in other words, if they're tore up from the bad water, you want to rinse out the, uh, the valve and get all the pieces out. Okay, once that's done, we've got just the opposite. We'll put this piece back on. Be sure the holes line up. Notice the springs are popping up. If they don't, you'll have to pop them up with a screwdriver and all. Now, back the screws up carefully. Put the screwdriver in it first. There we go. Back them up. You'll feel them drop. These screws originally are put in and they're self-tapping. There's no threads. So, by backing them up, you catch the same threads and do not generally have a problem with damaging. And then you just uh, you alternate just like you would torque a car or something. Don't tighten them all the way down till you get them all run down. Then just go back and there we go. Some of them are hard to find that little slot, but they're always there. Now you want to alternate tightening. I just ran them down. They're not tight. Snug that one, this one, and then just go to the outside here, to the next one over here, and back and forth till you go all the way through each screw. Not real tight, just snug. Now, you don't want to strip them at the bottom. Now once this is done, we'll put the springs back in place. It's just a matter of putting the timer and cam back on. Okay, to put the springs back in place, get closely to this. I'll start with these because they're easy to see. Push this down, and there's a hole in this piece. You have to push it down until a little tab pops into the hole. If it does, the spring should react like that. Some of them have double springs. You just make sure both springs go in the hole. Okay. Now we set the cam back in position, I mean the timer back in position, and it should go first because you can break the end off of it. This little flag doesn't do anything, it's just hold it tight. So it does not matter which way it's turned. This will only go in one way. So you slip it in here first. the correct way. Okay, now I'm going to move it out to the to the left side facing the unit so that I can pull back on the springs. Now when I put this in, it will guide right over that hole, right into the hole, and everything will be right where it's supposed to be. That's all there is to it. Now I'll spin it around just to see that everything works free. To do that, I'm pushing the button in on the front. Hold that in, then you can turn it freely and only turn it counterclockwise. Okay, we're done. Okay, there are three balls in this unit. One is inside the little glass globe, the other two are just like it. One is in the, uh, the salt 
uh, reservoir adjustment. The other is in the backwash, which is over on the other back side. To take them out and replace them, take a screwdriver, a wide one, just take this out, and then the ball is in there. It'll roll out if you take something to uh, just tilt it. Okay, if the ball is swelled or gnarly looking, you need to replace it. They don't go bad very often, but occasionally they need to be replaced. There's that one. Okay, the one on this side is the same way. You just have to take a pair of pliers to unscrew this dial, which is your salt setting. Let's see if you can get in there where you can see it. Once I turn it, you can see it, I think. This Just be gentle with it. Just like that. There's a ball behind it. Okay. Let me just I'll put that back later. Now there's also a jet that has to be cleaned and changed. It's in this section. Take this out. Then there's one on the opposite side. It's exactly the same. Okay, now the jet, get to that side, is a little blue or in some cases red or other color piece that's in here. I'll take something like an awl or a Phillips screwdriver with a big end, just push the thing out. It has a large end and a small end. It goes in small end first. So once you get it out, flush some water through it and then put the new one back in place. Put it in there. Take something like a screwdriver and just pop it in. Move back this way. Okay, it has to go back because the O-rings have to seat in position. Okay, it will go in far enough that these will go on without actually being in there, so be sure it's popped in. Put these back on. And you have changed the jet and you change the check balls. To change these, you take these screws out, these belt screws, just lift the globe and drop another one in there. There we have it.